What's going on everybody? It's Joe from the Acceptable Casualties and we're here to take a look at the 3D printed arena from Lovecraft. So I finally got this thing painted up and finished. Uh, went a lot quicker than I thought it was. Like so when I usually look at these 28 millimeter uh, bigger painting projects, even though it's mostly just dry brushing, I usually dread it just because I'm not the quickest uh, painter to put this stuff back on the table. But this actually went pretty smoothly. Uh, each piece on the table, like I said, it's all modular, so it all breaks up. Uh, each of the bigger pieces, roughly an hour to two hours to, to get it dry brushed and then to get the uh, sand basing put on there. Uh, all I ended up doing was I'd sprayed these with uh, like just regular gray, like a matte gray Krylon um, for all the pieces to get the uh, to get the stone look that I wanted. Then went over it just in a regular, I think it's a dead white by Vallejo, their game color line, I think is what I used, uh, just to kind of go through and dry brush it. So uh, that's what I did for the base here, um, the base colors for everything. And then for the sand textures that I put together on this, uh, I ended up using the Vallejo Earth Texture, if you guys can see it right here. I've used this before for some other projects. Uh, so I love this stuff. So I ended up uh, buying a thing of this for like 12 bucks. Uh, I ended up just spreading it on the uh, the bases down here, and like I said, did it for the same for each one. Uh, did that, and then I had an old brush that I used that was kind of just you know just ripped up and torn apart. It's even more so now. Um, and I would get this this brush wet, and I just go through, and I would just stipple the texture as I put it on there. And what that did is it helped um, help pull the sand up a little bit, so you get that natural kind of sand look going through. Uh, through the entire thing here. If you don't do that, it kind of levels out really smoothly and you don't get that um, that sand effect as much. I haven't gone over and dry brushed it yet. I don't think I'm going to. I think I might just leave it as is. But if you really wanted that, that texture to pop a little bit more, going over with maybe like a white or something, uh, maybe like a lighter uh, sand color might make this pop even more. But I'm gonna kind of keep it just natural like this. Uh, so yeah, this is what the arena ended up looking like. Um, in the end, for uh, the eagle piece down here, I ended up just going with the purple colors, because uh, you know in Rome purple is, is a very royal uh, royal color for like the emperor, and, and you know I believe they started back before Rome was even a republic. It was the uh, the color that the kings would wear in that in that area of Italy. So I ended up um, going with the purple here for the seat, and then for around the banner there. Obviously, I used the gold for the eagle and for the uh, crest down here with the with the white trim. So I ended up putting that together for this. I still have to find a a good emperor. Uh, 28 millimeter model that I can use to sit in here or just find one maybe just modify it and chop his legs up and and throw that together that way uh, for the gates kind of the same thing uh, you know still do the regular dry brush with everything and if you guys can look uh, like I said this is a 3d print but the scan lines in here they're hidden pretty well because of the stone textures so they don't really pop as much I was kind of worried when I went through with the dry brush if it was really going to show a lot of the 3D scan lines and really make that like a little more profound, but it actually worked really well on here, and, and they don't really pop as much as I thought they would, which is it's nice because that's one of the things I was a little worried about, even though the, the lines weren't that defined to begin with. But uh, it, yeah, it, it ended up not being really an issue at all. So uh, and like I said, I ended up painting the grays here, doing the dry brush, and went through with a, a brown, and then I did a a soft tone wash from Army Painter on top of that, and then I just kind of hit the. Uh, Pommels. I don't even know what you would call the the metal parts on the gate right there. I just went over that with kind of a, a steel and iron uh, to to get that to pop a little bit. But that's kind of like what I'm looking at right here. This is almost done. The the plan is not now, but soon. I want to add some tapestry and some stuff going around the top uh, to kind of add the shaded areas over the top of the arena, and then on top of some of these pillars <coughs> going through. I'm gonna try to get some 28 millimeter pots and put some flowers in there to kind of add a little bit more color to the whole thing and then obviously get some guys for the stands and, and just kind of liven it up a little bit more, add a little bit more personality. But that's not going to be right away. It's going to be like a slow, gradual thing I'm going to do. And I'll keep you guys posted as uh, as that begins to, to come to fruition more and more. Another thing I guess I'll point out here while I'm looking at it right now, this is worth noting. You guys can kind of see the gaps a little bit in between everything. Uh, that's mostly because, man, is this, this the good one to look at? Well, I'll, you'll be able to see it still. So if you look up here, you kind of see the texture in between um, that got, you know, a little bit in between right over here. Um, not that side as much. Maybe this wasn't a good one to show. But there was a little bit of the sand texture that got on the sides over here. So it's kind of spacing out 
the gaps a little bit more. So I still have to go through and I wanna sand that down a little bit, smooth that out so they sit a little bit more flush. And what I'm also gonna do is go through here and paint all these edges in a sand color as well, just to kind of hide those gaps a little bit and make it like um, a little more flush. So it doesn't, you know, so you just, you don't have this kind of stuff popping up on camera. But like I said, that's, that's an easy fix that I just have to do myself. It's not really an issue with the model. It's just kind of how I apply the sand texture. So just something to make note of when you're looking at this, don't hold that against the model. That's more of a modeling issue as far as uh, painting and putting all this together. That's all gonna get cleaned up rather quickly. What you could do as well, um, instead of getting five and a half, uh, by five and a half ones that I got these 3D printed, you can go out and just get one solid piece um, you just go down to the store, get like some really thin MDF or some hardboard, I guess, or something along those lines and just get one solid piece. And that'll take out a lot of the, uh, a lot of the gaps and lines in the middle part of your arena. And you really only have it along the wall sections going around the outside. So this is the, uh, 3d print model for the arena from Lovecraft. Highly recommend this. If you guys are doing anything with, uh, with Ancient Rome, whether you're playing Sons of Mars, or even if you're doing stuff like Gangs of Rome, it's kind of a cool set piece to have back there. Uh, I know Ian over at Lovecraft, he uh, he has a full line of, of anything from Ancient Rome, whether you're looking at stuff like the Arena, the Hippodrome, all different sorts of buildings, there's civilians in there, it's all 3D printed. I think you can go there, if you have a printer on your own, you just go over there, I think you just buy the files right now. Uh, I don't know if you do it individually or you buy it in bulk, but it's it's relatively cheap to do, and then you can print it yourself or you can get the files or you get in contact with one of the people that would print these for you. And I, it's, a, it's a pretty solid investment. Like I said, I like this a lot right here. I might end up getting the Hippodrome parts a little bit later uh, down the road, but totally worth checking out. Like I said, Lovecraft uh, for 3D printing. I'll leave a link down in the bottom of the description. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, checking out the arena right now. And uh, as I keep adding stuff to it, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll do some more videos like that in the future. So I'll catch you guys later.